what's up guys welcome today to my show I'm going to be talking about some of my baits and what I use on where I go fish um, I'm going to be sharing you about my crank baits, my jerk baits buzz baits, spin baits, soft plastics however to rig it guys uh, first I'm going to talk about my top waters hula poppers um, these are really good top waters uh, these are really good for uh, top waters, and I know top water season's about to come in. I got I got a bunch of these black and white belly. These are pretty nice guys. Uh, I like those. I've caught a bunch of bass. I got a jerk bait here. Uh, caught a few bass on it. It's a it's a rebel a rebel jerk bait made by Rebel. And I got a uh, another jerk bait. I like this. It has a nice rattle to it. Um, it's the rattle trap made by Rattle Trap. And I found out it really works around good shading area, guys. Uh, good shading area. I got a crank bait. I got two crank baits. Can't get both of them all. Sorry about that, guys. I got a uh, circle bill crankbait, if y'all can see that. Got a nice thing to it. And I got a much bigger one. Sort of like a, it sort of looks like a duck's beak on that bill on it. And it has a nice picture to it. Next I got a uh, jig, uh, spinnerbait actually, not a jig, sorry about that guys. Not a jig, it's a spinnerbait. Got that spinner bait, and uh, if you can see how the spoon, uh, I wish I would have got a different spoon, but like a willow leaf or something. But uh, I think it's gonna work good for this time. It's like it's almost spring. <coughs> I've had plenty of success with these. It's the brown and orange jig. It's a uh, sort of the football head jig, and uh, I like this really good. Just pop it off the bottom of the floor, lake floor. Got another. I got a black and black and blue jig head. It's a football jig head. Playing on like that, guys. So um, yeah, got me a buzz bait, and I bent mine down so to make a little bit more noise in the water. So that's the green and yellow buzz bait. Got some soft plastics. I got the Ribbit soft plastics. It's I don't know if y'all see that, guys. It's the Ribbit. So these are really good. I use these a bunch. Uh, ain't had much success. You can use these around ponds and stuff. I got the uh, Shrek King curls. Uh, they're like the garlic scented and the Pit Boss Havoc. Crawls. They were pretty cool. Then I got the green pumpkin lizards, the zoom baits. Uh, one thing I recommend to any fisherman uh, has helped me a bunch is the baby brush hog made by Zoom. Uh, I love these things, guys. Uh, these things are pretty cool. Um, I know these that that tail on the end. I don't know what it is, but I guess I guess they like the whole bait or something. And uh, that little tail down here on the bottom, I guess it makes a bunch of movement in the water. I guess them bass like to follow it. And when, when I'm doing, when I'm fishing with them, I sort of pull it in and I jerk it off the bottom and I guess they just go after it after that. I got some Finesse Black Worms made by Zoom. I just picked them up. They're in our new package. Uh, I got me some flukes. Just pick these up. Gonna try these out at a nearby lake. And uh, these these really work good. Um, these are the white flukes. Pretty good. Tail ain't bit on nothing. I'm surprised. Usually in the package, like most of them will be like bent like that. But if you compare them to that and straighter. Two flukes. 
So uh, what, what I do when I'm straightening out my flutes, I put them in hot water for about 10 to 15 seconds. You don't really want to uh, you don't really want to put it in there too long because you don't want to melt your uh, soft plastics. So um, the next I got some drop shots. I got the uh, green. I got the green yum. And these are pretty cool, guys. You can wacky rig them, wacky rig them, or or you can use them as a regular worm. Uh, actually, there's a there's a gap in the middle right there, guys. I don't know if y'all can see it, but uh, there's a gap right there, and you can put your hook through it. So I like those. Those are made by Yum. And uh, it came in a five pack. I think those were the five inch, yep, five inch drop shots. And then I got these red and black. So and they're pretty cool. And then I got the Matt Zoo, the Matt Zoo ones. They were pretty cool. Uh, these are the these are the ones I use. They're they're brown. It may look black in the video, but they're brown. I'll put a little bit a little way but they're brown and they work pretty cool they're the matzu drop shots uh, I picked them up from Dunham's and one them are all my soft plastics right now I'm going to go pick up me some more but uh, I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit about this rattle trap um, it's really good actually uh, throw it around like shady areas um, and stuff like that if y'all want to try it out, um, just if y'all do tend to get one, throw it around like shady areas, and um, it does seem to work pretty good. And uh, I know that I'm gonna try a bunch of my baits out, especially this. I just picked this crank bait up, crank this crank bait. So I'm gonna try that out, and. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Southern Outdoors, North Carolina. Uh, he's actually doing a tackle gi tackle giveaway right now. So if anybody wants to join that tackle giveaway, he he has like a uh, it's on his YouTube channel and he has a video about it. Y'all can watch it and y'all can learn how to enter that. But um, I'm actually entering it and there's a bunch of people doing it right now. If y'all want to do it, y'all can. Um, just go to Southern Outdoors, North Carolina and you'll see his page. Should be like a little. YouTube channel thing, and, uh, he's actually helped me a bunch, I've, uh, watched a bunch of his videos, and what he does out on the, on ponds and stuff like that, um, I like his videos, I hope he keeps making more and more, but, uh, I'm gonna try to start making some videos, and, um, I hope that y'all like this video, and, um, please subscribe, I'm gonna try to do at least two uh, two to three, maybe even four videos a week. Um, that's not counting school. I gotta sort of push in school with that too. Uh, I like to go to Deep River a lot and fish, so y'all might see me at Deep River. Um, if y'all go on my page up in the left hand corner, I caught that bass at Deep River, and that's in, that Deep River is in Renman, North Carolina. Um, I know Random and Lake has a bunch of big bass too, so I might go down there and try some. And, uh, hope y'all like this video, guys. Hope I gave y'all a bunch of new baits. Um, this ain't all of them. I just picked out some that I wanted to show y'all. And them are my main baits that I use. So, um, if y'all want those baits, um, just go. You can really pick them up. A bunch of these up at Dumb's if, in, if, in Asheboro or wherever Dunham's is, a, Dun a Dunham's is, uh, Walmart, I got all my soft plastics from Walmart, except for like three of them, I got picked up some from Dunham's, um, and, uh, all my top waters and stuff I pick up from, like, Walmart, so, um, like this video, guys, uh, if you liked it, like it, um, like this video, subscribe, and, uh, I'll try to get another video post up this week, but thanks for watching, guys. I'll see y'all in a, another episode probably this week. Thank you, guys.